We're doing text therapy with Basil right now. I need to learn how to do the thing that um, Rachel and, and B do. The, the zoom in on the phone. I need to learn how to do it. But basically, Basil asked, how are you doing today? To V, and V's like, <laughs> I'm existing. Not happy, but not sad. Yes, why she's not happy. She's like, it's just one of those days where everything's just kind of there in the background. Which makes it hard for her to be happy. She's like, some weeks are worse than others, but more often than not. Yeah, and Basil asked, these background days, why does it feel like things are in the background? Do you feel yourself in the background? And she's like, things have a tendency to linger never enough time to process things when everyone else has so much going on. Yes, if <laughs> she always, she often feels like her own emotions fall by the wayside so she can have others and she's like, sometimes everyone's always going through so much. I never want to add to it. Joseph. Exactly. master. We have my sad epidemic playlist going. I do have like Spotify music, but I have not solidified a playlist for, for June for Veronica because her emotions are all over the place. I mean, I do have a Spotify playlist that was playing my search stream, but I don't think it was coming through because I think I needed Spotify as an audio source. figured out how to do that. Which is fantastic.
Hi, Smashing. I'm doing all right, Smashing. Are we gonna Are we gonna see you around today? Also, hi, Carby. It's a rare Mel stream. I'm like, because <laughs> because she's doing the text therapy of Basil. I'm like, I gotta stream. <laughs> How's Q looking anyway? I loaded right in at the 10 minutes. Apparently we're not getting mayoral election results until tomorrow and that makes me worry that Hardcastle didn't win? What do you mean? <laughs> Hell yeah, Carby. Old man nerd. And the reason I'm worried that Hardcastle didn't win, I'm I'm all over the place right now, is because Cassie Cupcake I think is the only one that I'm around right now, but Crane also isn't around. Thea's always worried about Logan. That's my secret. That's my secret. She's always worried about Logan. When they start talking like that. Cause she's like, no you potato! Absolute potato, of course! Oh, the people in the first read daily. Sunset. I'm not afraid of Tato.
Oh god. Arctic, how could you? Yeah, before I started stream, Bees had the eye patch from last summer in her pocket again. Uh, at some point in the past week or two, she's actually gone back to the Chumash house and found the box that she kept it in. doing text therapy with Basil. <laughs> but hello raiders and welcome. Tower stealer! <laughs> v has only just started coming back to the tower after months of going to other places. <laughs> because uh for a while, she was just giving it a wide berth because it, she was re-traumatized. It's hard to... Oh my god! Wait. Everybody uses the tower! I'm pretty sure B comes up here with Kiki sometimes too. Hard to <laughs> How was I supposed to know that? <laughs> uh, anyway, it's just hard to <laughs> Kiki has been able to Way. Oh god. Yeah, V comes up here. Quite a bit. Not so much in like the past month or two, but no, I didn't. I also had Spotify music playing really loud. So, <laughs> I didn't hear anybody walking up. The tower remains one of my top 10 places to go. Except for the fact that V's body was left like right there where the red circle is. That's where her body was dumped last summer. So she's coming up to the, the tower usually. Usually it's connected back to the terror. really right by the observatory. It's off the dirt path that uh, comes off from the observatory.
V has gotten status checked at this tower by PD uh, a fair few times because she'll come up here on duty, or she used to, especially during shift three. What I used to do during shift three when she'd come around is I'd literally just bring V up here and have her sit at the tower for the entire first hour of, of the AU storm. It was great. Yeah, Loki is one of the few people I think that status checks Veronica when she's off somewhere. Get some rest. Appreciate you. Mm. Why is it your most hated place that she goes to? one of the safest places she goes to. She's also started hanging out at Sisyphus Theater instead of the Vinewood Bowl. Which, Sisyphus, I think, has more serial killer kills at it than uh, any other place V goes to. Mm, I know where else V needs to go. It's the place she was trying to find. Oh. Because Kiki was who Veronica was with when she was trying to find it last time, although Veronica didn't say what she was doing. V just said it was a place she went to once that she wanted to refine. There's a place in that parking structure that V will curl up and just kind of chill at. that back on. Oh yeah, 
actually need to 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 look at something and see if this is the spot. Oh, I have so many photos on him, Gurg. Okay, because V was an EMT when it happened. I see Veronica remembers the place. Oh, see, I, I am blanking on what spot it is exactly. All I know is it was around October. was there. Hi, Hurricane. I'm trying to find something so I can just make sure I'm at the right spot. Okay, I, I'm almost there. She was, I believe she was an AEMT at the time that it happened. So it was like October. Ah, yeah, there it is. Stuff. I'm just trying to find the day she alpha. I'm almost positive. Ah, I passed it. Okay, we are at the right spot. Harvey tried calling her. <laughs> Whoops. I was so focused on finding a photo. Muziano, who was shot alongside her. Oh, 
Also, if any of you who came over from the raid followed, I appreciate that. My alerts aren't working all that well. But yeah, this is where we alpha'd for the first time. And heck if that's not something that she she remembers in vivid detail. Also, thank you for the follow. <laughs> she almost has been walking out for a few days now. I bet. Because usually stream elements will tell me, but then, like, I saw an email come up from Twitch saying I had a new follow, and I was like, what? I didn't get any kind of alert in the chat or anything. I swear to God, if he doesn't pick up now. Hello. Hello, you call? Yeah, I got knocked out instantly. Ouch. Did, did OG use knuckle dusters or something, or? That's the claim, but I think I just suck. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I think I might, I think we might lose the Emerson case. Why is that? Uh, Oribel threw so fucking hard that I'm pretty sure she just accidentally perjured herself. Ooh. Yeah, it was it was really bad of a deposition. Espinosa is gonna need to pop the fuck off on whatever date this is. Eee. How did she? How did she throw so bad? So, uh, I asked her if she remembered everything, and she told me word for word, bar for bar, everything that happened. I was like, all right, perfect. She's good to go then. She went up there, and they asked her questions, and she fucking paraphrased what Emerson said in the tape, and then added more to it. So, she said, uh, is, I would consider it a little nitpicky, but she said that Emerson said under the tape that she had shot Mr. Ratchet in the head. Emerson never said where she shot him at. She just, that she shot him. Mm. Uh, and then Grace, for some reason, was telling her to recite uh, unlawful killing, the definition, from her head, not from the MDW. I feel like that can be thrown out, no? I'm so sure Joel think about these things when he's going to make his decision but holy shit what she said too was also factually incorrect as well because she had, she had said what the definition of an unlawful killing is but then she said for some reason Emerson going back for more Which that didn't happen either so I don't know what the fuck she was on about oh dear Regardless of the outcome of the appeal, she's Spinos. not getting hired to EMS, so... I don't think Orabelle wants to be an EMS. No, not Orabelle! Oh. oh, Emerson? Emerson? I think she wants to be a lawyer. Oh. I don't know if... I don't know if she wants to be a lawyer for the reasons that she thinks she wants to be a lawyer. What does that mean? I don't know if she wants to be a lawyer or if she wants to use that as stepping stone. A stepping stone to what? Something. Probably cop. I don't think she'd go for cop. What? What? You said probably? I said I don't think she'd go for cop. I... I don't see a world where she would legitimately be a full-time lawyer. She's got the same thing that Charlotte suffers from. Which is what exactly? Something we all suffer from, including me. ADHD. Gotcha. 
I'll call you back to say on Intel Big Team on AA today. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, V is always like, oh, half the time when she talks to him. It's like you you have to spell things out for me. You gotta spell them out for me. people are on duty. Look, Veronica needs someone to just be like, this is what I mean. She doesn't do well when people just assume she knows what they're getting at. I don't do well when people just assume she knows what, what they're getting at. It's like, please, just a little slower just just speak a little slower as if you are talking to an idiot because I am one this is what most of V's day yesterday was too she went to the tower and then she just kind of roamed Like so broken. Like this bike used to get up to like fifty. There we go. Hello. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Uh, um. Yeah, I don't. I don't. She might enjoy doing one case, and then she'll burn out of it and just stop doing. Just stop pursuing anything. Well, I wanted to do law stuff once. You would also do the same thing. What do you mean I would do the same thing? You would do like one case and then be like, okay, I'm good. It takes a special kind of person to want to continue to do law shit. Mm. Well, then I have to defend, I have to defend Big T. Okay. absolutely going to the torment Basil if they ever actually manage to get to the nitty gritty of her issues. Like I swear this bike used to go faster. Like a hundred percent the Pro 3 used to be a better bike. But it, why does the Pro 3 suck now? One of the dates Veronica's ex fiance took her on was coming to the Red Witch track and getting the ATVs and just fucking around.
see. Can I get the speed up? I mean, fair, but like, even off-road it used to be decent. Unless you were going like, up Chiliad. But like, even off-road sometimes, or on the road sometimes, I have issues getting it up to speed unless I fix the tires. So I don't know if it's like a, a user error or like the tires are just needing replacing all that often. It's annoying. Let me speed through Sandy. Going like 50 on a bike. They can't pull me over and give me a ticket. It's a bicycle. I need to get via scorcher to keep him full, you know. Hello. I defended Tarotti with my life. By by that, I tried to body slam Silas and I hit the pavement. Oh dear. He said, "Okay, well, I guess that's that's sad." Anyway, um. Is it? I thought it was thirty-five. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what our plan is, but uh, I'm going to. <laughs> you know what's funny about her becoming a lawyer, though? She's probably going to get another weapons license without having reviewed the penal code. I'm sure she's well aware of it now. Here's what's going to happen. is She's going to beat the case because of Emer and, uh, Orville's fuck up and then not learn anything from it other than that she can do that. Even though she might have lost it because of a mistrial or something. Mm. Like she might... Win it just based on Orbal being dumb as fuck with it with the entire case, and she might take away from that that what I did was right and he was wrong and he's he's bad and he tried to arrest me for thing I didn't do and etc cetera, etc cetera, right. Mm. I I can see the defense they're trying to go for because that's what uh, uh, Grace was trying to do. But she already did two defenses, which was pretty. The first one was pretty funny considering Orbal's response. She said, do you believe a doctor can do bad things? And then Orbal was like, yes, actually, here's a list of doctors that I've looked into for the past two months. Wait, did she really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Were EMS on that list, too, or just doctors? Yeah, I think Serge took a chance to roast EMS. No, the only reason I'm asking is because people are dumbasses and mix doctors and EMS together, even though we're two separate entities. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, um, I'm pretty sure that, uh, Serge took the opportunity to fuck with the EMS by saying, are you going to ask the obvious question? And then Grace said, do you have a bias against EMS? And he, and then she said, no. And he went, thank God. But neither of the, like, she's not EMS and has ever been EMS. It was a bias against doctors and then I had to ask the follow-up you have but, a bias against EMS. But where EMS doesn't come anywhere into it. Emerson's not EMS. It, it, it was Serge taking an opportunity to fuck with EMS by saying, are you going to ask the second obvious question after that? To uh, Grace. But that question makes no sense. LSMG and, and Los Santos Emergency Medical Services are two separate entities and always have been. I don't know. It's, it's Serge being a fucker. That's all it is. Anyway. Uh, anyway, she's probably going to win the case because of Orabel. I'm going to be honest. Here's a, here's their defense. They're going for her. Doctors can't do anything bad. And she got her, she got hit in her head, so she lost her memory. That's not a valid defense. That's why I need to be like, I need to just ask Espinos. Hey, she was able, was she anywhere near the scene? How long does it take for you to get medical services for Ratchet? You know, is it reasonable? Is it reasonable for someone to be able to call 911 between the time that 
Suspect's been shot down, had to go get treatment. Uh, the other thing I'm trying to go for is that we didn't do our job by trying to find Ratchet's casings, which I I don't know how they're going to find that. The other thing, too, is going to fuck me up is that this Jordan Pearson guy is going to 100% perjure on the stand, and Serge is going to believe him. This guy's 100% going to perjure, because I don't even know who the fuck this guy is and what his relation to the case is. But he's a, a career criminal, so he's just going to lie. He's just going to... All, all they do is lie. Hmm. He's just going to go up there and lie and say, oh, there were like 100, 100 dudes there, and then they were, they were following us all the way to the hospital, and then, you know, Mr. Ratchet... <laughs> He better I, he better be very careful because I find if I catch him in any of those lies, it's over. I'm I'm ending that guy's career. Wait, but you're already like going into this case with the assumption that he's going to be lying. I don't even know who the fuck this guy is, and she never mentioned him once in the original case. In the interrogation, she never mentioned this guy once at all of being involved. Is that going to be something you bring up when when you go to? Um, when the case uh, fucking happens, ow, fuck, ow. Yeah, I'm probably gonna mention it and be like, uh, who the fuck are you and what's your involvement? I'm sure because he's a defense witness that uh, Grace is gonna ask the questions first. So, I okay, here's my guess, right? If I had a guess of this guy's involvement, he was on the original scene with Emerson and he saw everything. Okay, now so then begs the question. Why didn't one of them call 911 and say okay. this happened? Yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna ask. Like, did you call 911? He's probably gonna lie and say yes. Okay, but if he had, there would have been it would have been documented. Because at that point, doesn't it basically become uh, there's a word for it in court. Because there's no perjury. evidence of, of a call. Not necessarily perjury, but like there's no evidence, so you can't actually say that that happened. Now we're gonna ask him, like, hey, did you, uh, do you dial 911? If he says no, then I'll say, okay, why not? Because between the two of them, before she got a head injury, she would have, or one of them would have been able to call and say, Emerson had to discharge her firearm in self-defense against Mr. Ratchet. Which, I'm gonna be real, is what you normally do after you have to defend yourself against anybody. Yeah, so, uh... I'm gonna ask him, like, did you escort her to the hospital? Were you at the hospital when she got attacked by Mr. Ratchet? Well, if he was, why is there no statement from him? God, I, I, I hate that I don't know what this guy's involvement is. Because wouldn't there be, shouldn't there be a statement from him in a police report then if he was there and a witness to it? I, th I, I, I need to ask someone if I can charge someone with accomplice after the fact. But he says, "Yeah, I was there, and I was, you know, I was with her when she shot him. And and if 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 she gets found guilty, and the the appeal the appeal doesn't get denied, I'm gonna go for him next and put him as an accomplice." Oh my! Hmm. I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated because Orbell fucking was horrendous. I probably should have never called her. I should have left that as a statement. I should have never called her to the stand at all. A huge mistake. Well, how long before the deposition did you have that conversation with her? Ten minutes. You're fucking with me. No, she gave she recited word for word, bar for bar what happened. Did she just kinda like freeze on the stand? Wait, is she one of those people that just doesn't do well in court? I think she's one of those people that if you ask him, like, if you ask them, like, what happened, they'll recite what happened, but they'll paraphrase everything that everyone said, which is not, which is very important in court. She said, she said Emerson said under the, on the tape that she had shot 
uh, Mr. Ratchet, and then she added in the head after, which like in most conversations, that's like it's like whatever, right? But in that one, Grace had a problem with it because I even asked. I said when she did a sidebar for misstatement, I asked, "Is the issue that she said that she shot him, or the issue that the in the head part said in the head?" What I want to do today. Charlie's wedding is at 10. I gotta go to Alcoholics Anonymous. With James, right? Yeah, with James. Is he gonna be around today? Probably. Is there even AA today? Yeah, Quinn reached out. Ah. You only have to go to the one, right? Yep, only have to go to one. I have to find a. I have to make an all white outfit for Charlie's wedding. She was supposed to rob a bank for her bachelorette party the other night, but that didn't happen. And then she got caught for her warrant. Because her plan was to rob the bank and get caught. Were you going to rob the bank with them? No. I was going to the legal portion of the, the festivities. Sounds like something you would do, to be honest. To be honest. What the fuck? You think I would rob a bank? Yeah, I think you would. Uh, I, I wouldn't. Why the hell do you think I would? Some wild shit. So you think I would rob a bank and risk my entire career? Yeah, probably not. I can't believe you would think that of me. Like, I legitimately cannot believe you think I would actually rob a bank. I was kidding. Were you? Yes. Okay, I'll believe that. Oh, there's no good white dresses. I gotta go. Alright, bye. Bye right, bye. No, I wouldn't risk it. I'm not stupid. We'd have to fire someone for robbing a bank. Alright. Is there a pure white laser? There are not a lot of pure white options. <gasps> By smashing. Because V can't wear.
I could find the usual button-down shirt that V uses for the formals. Okay, and her armpits as well. Yeah. Anything, okay. any place oh. that you have hair, just I, no. We gonna wax that. Do you guys see like a petty suit? What should we wear? Robes. Robes. Okay. It's just cute little bath robes. They don't even have to. Be okay. White. Okay. Make sure you get the axe out one. For you? Okay, I'll get that for you. Thank you. Do you guys do like um like manicures and pedicures? Yes. I've okay. Because Chanel has like this like really big chrome toenail. It's kind of weird. Oh. Yeah. Can you find this on my feet. What the fuck is my doctor jacket on? Found it. Let's so come in white. See if I can find one that's like a little white. So sorry if my fan starts coming through or has been coming through at all. Um, it gets hot in my room, so I gotta do that. Perfect. Okay. Oh, wait. I don't think it's recommended to open windows right now.
I hate that, but that's not really. You're wearing a t-shirt. I would hide it. Are we asked that lady? Um, yes, right there. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, wow. Me too. Okay, very yeah, let's go. I'm excited. What I'm asking, fine. Four? Probably gonna have to end stream and like I, I want to stream for longer, but um, <clears throat> my parents went to um an auction yesterday, and they thought they were only buying like a certain amount of stuff, but we they, they ended up getting thousands upon thousands of of just like uh sports jerseys baseball equipment it it's it's a lot so i'm probably going to end stream when they get home because either that or i'm gonna have to like throw up a brb for a little bit um which i hate doing that but uh they need help on loading it's not like even accidentally there were supposed to be like 200 but there were thousands it idle it's bad hold on my mom just sent me a photo they have a van that's just filled to the brim with stuff so they're gonna need help on loading so i'll probably throw up a brb screen then um i have to let the dogs out soon but my mom just called me and said you know the the, the parkway is like a parking lot right now um, you know what? I'm just gonna say fuck it and leave it like that. Cause V doesn't go anywhere without her mask, but she wants to adhere to the color scheme. So Charlie's wedding. This is our outfit. We're gonna bike to Serenity's Peak. And then once we're there, we'll throw up the BRB just so I can go with the dogs out.
but no, I went downstairs last night and it was insane. Like the sheer amount of just stuff. I'm just making sure I lock that. Alright, that's the outfit for Charlie's wedding. Okay. Then we will hold on sacral hours. And we'll go to the office while I let the dogs out. Should be back in like the next, it should only take me like 10 minutes. Maybe a little longer. So we're gonna put you here. Videos. Ignore the live chat thing because I've never been able to get that to work. But I will be right back after I let the dog goes out.
Hello, I'm back. You said the dog's out. Let's make phone calls. Oh, Ooh, okay. So, add first run use pink real quick. back let the dogs out got my grandmother some trevor okay yeah that is obnoxious but we're keeping it in and then have to be 10-7 for a while. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna DM Charles. Because if I knew, like, okay, they'll be home in like 20 minutes, I will send you money as soon as I pay the bill. It'll be one thing. What we're not gonna do is we're not gonna go to the firehouse. I know mm -hmm. you're both We're gonna go do a lot of gold banning. Okay. I also grabbed an ice pop. But, uh, I'm wondering if election results got delayed because Nathan's busy or if it was because someone who wasn't Hardcastle won and couldn't be around.
fun. I'm just kind of buying time until I can go on duty. Because I don't want to be that person that clocks on and then has to be 10 7 for like 20 minutes. Well, everything's burning. I were just gonna go vibe and gold fan. Actually, let me make sure that the. I don't think there is a spot yet. I don't feel like getting robbed. Actually, we might just bike around instead of gold fan. So. Mm, where can I set it for? My cough has also gotten better. Well, that's good. Because I have been sick for the past week on top of all the smoke in the air. It's in the fun time. vibe and, and gold pan a little bit, I think. What? I might also throw into the restroom. I mean, it's a good, like, relaxing activity. But it's just like... I think by the time you use up your pan, you'll, you'll have made it back in materials. I've pressed the wrong number. Really? So actually... I'll be right back again, because I have to run to the restroom real quick.
way I see it is there's there's no point in me going and clocking on if I'm gonna have to be 10 7 soon anyway. We'll just gold pan a little bit. Um, I don't know if I've talked about on stream what the hell actually happened to Veronica when she was out of town. I know B's been straight up with some folks and pretty blunt about the fact that bad shit happened. God, I love a good otter pop. I thought you said she was fine. There's a reason she wears the mask all the time. She does not feel safe without that mask. Safe is the wrong word. She doesn't feel comfortable without it. And it's the same reason why she doesn't wear a lot of EMSR. That's not fine. Ooh, a gold nugget. Doesn't help it. Every time Veronica tries to talk to Herbie about it, he calls her a criminal. <laughs> Fine. That's why I really, really, really want her to have tea time with Basil. Because I think, <laughs> I think Basil, not that he's a substitute for Jonathan, but I think he'll be good for Veronica in the way that Jonathan was. And while B can agree with Kiki's statement of my therapist is not my friend, and my friends are not my therapists, um, V also doesn't really have an issue with blurring that line. But, surprise, she wasn't fine. Uh, she almost died. I think I put her full medical file from before Los Santos in my Discord. I could be wrong. Uh, it should be in my meta chat somewhere. But if it's not, I'll put it there. Um, it was a project that was started because of a comment Dr. Jeremy made. By normal people's standards, Veronica absolutely should be dead before she even arrives in Los Santos. But the way I play it is she always had access to the best medical care, the best doctors. <coughs> so people... People are vested in keeping her alive. Oh my god, I need to cough really bad. Ugh. Sorry about that. It's like that really like chesty cough. Um, so that is in my Discord somewhere, or if not, I will get it there uh, at some point in the next day or two. Um, 
because it is a key part of why Veronica is the way she is when it comes to pain. Because she uh, has been through so much that her nerve endings are fucked. Well, let me see. Did I put it in there? Oh yeah, no it is in there. It's like one of the first things I put in there last year. Okay, we Gucci. Good. Uh, I mean, it hasn't been too bad the last couple days. We had the one really, really, really bad day where the sky was orange. But I, I don't think it's cloudy today. I do think it's smoke. But we, I don't think we had the air quality alert today. I've just also had a cold on top of it that I caught when I went to the Taylor Swift concert. Um, you know, it is what it is. Oh, Reese. But, um, if you are curious about Veronica's medical file, it is. I just checked it is in the meta chat um, in my discord exclamation point discord um, it is in there it's one of the very first things in the meta chat um, and I put it there when I, I think I when I made the discord oh pixel 3 phone oh my god I don't want to put upbeat music on because like the thing is with Veronica is she's very rarely truly happy these days. There's a reason her wardrobe for the longest time has been mostly neutral colors and black. Um, if I look at the Imgur album, because I do keep it, I, I update it like once a month or so, um, that is just photos of Veronica, or screenshots of Veronica, um, she's never worn a lot of color in Los Santos, it's always been black, white, neutrals. Um, with blues thrown in. The only times you see V in color really are during Pride. Because I'm looking right now at the album. It's like during Pride and when friends talk her into it. And blues. Very seldom, but she will wear blues off duty. And that one pink tank top. She went through a phase of wearing a lot of green. And that one blue. Um. Ah, I just want to link to it. Kinda, except no one really calls V on it too much. Hold on. I have the album somewhere. Where? 
I put the album somewhere. Where did I put it? Ah. I put it. Like, if you want to take a look through it, like, there it is. Um, it's every, like, solo screenshot of V that I've taken since starting on NoPixel. And some of it was stuff I took for, like, reference. Fair idol. Oh, is it a 404? Fuck. I haven't changed it. What the hell? Imgur did something. Imgur fucked things up, didn't it? <coughs> no, because even I got 404 <coughs> I wonder if Imgur is just having issues because even when I click embed, shit's fucked. Well, that's disappointing. I think Imgur is just having issues right now. But like, it's basically 20 pages, 1600 images. That's all just black, white, and all right. Maybe this. It's annoying, but... What kills me is it's the same exact link! Except one goes to a 404. Actually, they both go to a 404. What the hell? Why is it going to a 404? Why is it saying hidden? Because, like, if you share the link, it should give it to people. I will figure it out later. Now it's just frustrating me. I'm gonna go back to, to doing my gold panning. But, anyway, Veronica really only wears black and neutrals. She very rarely wears color. That's because she's never happy. I mean, she is happy. Like, if you see her with a burst of color, it's because she's happy. And, like, genuinely happy. Oh my god. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it here. Check. I'm gonna get rid of that one. We're littering. Oh. Now I'm just sad. Cause I it took me ages to get that together. It took me ages. Oh, Harvey's calling. Hello? 
Hey. Hello. I uh, I instantly clocked off. I have no idea what the fuck the active was, but if I have to hear five panic buttons in a row and three on ones from four different people saying they need 78s on channel four, I don't want to be around. I don't know what the fuck the active is, but that is so obnoxious. What? Wait, what's obnoxious? The fact there were five panic things going off. Five panic buttons, yes. It was 78s, not 13s. I know, but one person does a 78s. Why is five people doing it? No, not I, all at once. I'm confirming. It was 78s and not 13s? Yeah, I, I looked at him and said, it said, uh, I'm, pr I'm almost certain it said, uh, it wasn't, I don't know. Can you check? You can hold the little thing right there and check, I'm, right? I'm not on duty. Oh, I, unless I'm fucking talking out of my ass, I'm pretty sure they all said, like, uh, I know Charlie this... said the, the city's kind of on fire right now, but I can't go on duty because um, I'm going to have to go 10-7 soon anyway if I were to clock on duty, and I don't want to do that to people. Put in some hairspray, and now I have the Mackenzie Hayes drip. Oh, okay. I was like, oh my god, this kind of slaps, so I just kind of kept it permanently. I, I got the permanent hairspray, but I, I bought like there's this really expensive hairspray from uh, what's that guy's name? Bob Moulet. Yeah, from Bob Moulet. And uh, I'm like, oh my god, this kind of slaps. And then I said, all right, I'm gonna fucking finalize this and put some permanent in there. And then only after I realized why it slaps is because I, <laughs> I got I got that haze drip going on. Thing, I never use that because I don't think we're supposed to see it. This is going to be a huge hater when she sees this. She's going to be like, Harvey, you're a drip thief. Yeah, I I don't acknowledge that I see that stuff. Yeah, me and Hayes are beefing. We're still beefing. When aren't you guys beefing? Uh, I guess on a Tuesday. What does Tuesday have to do with it? Harvey? What's up? Sorry, I was what? not paying attention. What did Tuesdays have to do with it? It's a random day. Um. Oh, I am not fucking clocking in right now. I I could be crazy, but I I'm almost certain those were panic buttons and not um not uh the downs. Well it do be within that plus Plus or minus three hours window of 7 p.m. Yeah, so I see a throw one. Dan Faley, 78. Gregory Johnson, 78. Sky Fay, we need units. It's like, okay, so are you. Yeah, I get it. It's a 78. Wait, hold on. Oh, I understand. Wh I understand now why they were. Were they all in different spots? <laughs> Oops. What? They're all in different spots. Yeah, I'll now pass. Who's so. the bozo? I don't care. I I hate clocking in in the first. It, I hate the time I start. The time I start is when shit. They say seven p.m. It's really five, four p.m. That's when the shootouts happen. It's plus or minus three hours from seven p.m. It's just I don't. I want my first hour of the day to me i just want to get my gear and relax i don't want to immediately drop out to a scene i have no idea what's happening get secondhand information and fucking die i just don't want to do that fair thankfully it's friday see fridays are the bad day in the week i feel like and i feel bad because i'm not clocking in on duty right now but also at any point in the next hour i'm gonna have to be 10 7 for you know between 15 to 30 minutes so potentially even a little bit longer yeah yeah it was uh my gps still had the the panic button locations and i realized there are four different parts of the city jesus 
I need to go put stuff away. Jesus Christ. I have too much stuff on me. This sucks. I don't have a. I don't have that good good, so I have to stick around if I want to continue to be a uh, good good. But I just want to kind of just relax for a few hours and then come back. What are you planning on doing? Relaxing for a few hours on a Friday, staring at my ceiling while laying down. It's very uh, good. Gotcha. Why is biking so hard? By the way, I hear people say dumb shit, and it bothers me. Kind of dumb shit. Uh, extremely dumb shit. Gotcha. Uh, dumb shit, dumb shit, dumb shit. Um, I think I've heard on three different occasions people refer to our relationship as you having Stockholm Syndrome. Excuse me? Yeah. I haven't said anything in response because I I feel like if I say something, it makes them uh, double down, especially since the guy who said it is on a... Uh, a double down arc where everything he gets told not to, or just everything he gets shit on about, he doubles down on. Who said it? Ethan Turo. Ah, oh, fuck Turo. Yeah, but he uh, he's he's in a double down era, which I said don't do that. The last person who doubled down was his name was Jeff Waters, and I left it at that. But he's like, I'm gonna double down. Hey, is Turo related to like the serial killer Turo? I don't think they're related. Damn, because I would have fired back with something about that if they're related. I have yeah, no uh, issues about going low. Uh, Serge Cross said, uh, don't beat your wife since you're drunk. And I said, I don't beat my wife. There's people up on the hill. Look, I'm going to be honest. I don't know how people have not picked up on that. It's... Not exactly tasteful jokes are making, all things considering what happens, you know, past few uh, weeks or months or whatever, that well, why the fuck are people so fucking playing with fire like that? It pisses me off to hear people that are saying shit about that because it's like, say that to my face. Just fucking say it to my face. Yeah, the happens. Stockholm Syndrome one, I am not too um, worried about it. It was the, the wife beating one. That yeah, that one's. That one's a... Ooh, there's cars in my driveway. Can I hit them with a sledgehammer? And then, yeah, here it's... Here it gets worse, right? Because people... Con it's not just you, right? Because people are constantly trying to, like, uh... Be edgy and paint me in, in a really bad light for funny. Haha. -ha. Um... And uh -huh. they're usually people that mean well and are good people they just are a little bit edgy sometimes for example charlotte fairfield i'm annoyed and i i don't know if this was charlotte fairfield doing this or vincent cannoli doing this so i had saw charlotte standing on top of a car and i did the thing i usually do and i tackled her off of it and she went ah and she was on the phone with cannoli i didn't know this until so i went inside and heard the other side of the phone call conversation where cannoli was like we were cannoli was asking me uh, why I did non-consensual touching on Charlotte. Huh? So I don't know if that was Charlotte going, I was, I was touched non-consensual, or if Cannoli was taking a twist on whatever the fuck she was saying. My sister had pride decorations put the house, which is not an issue. 
like my, my Chumash has. My issue is she had one put right where I put my mailbox and I remember to put one. L. So anyway, yeah, I think me. I think people are either just edgy or what or just not thinking about the things they say and the ramifications and image that it has. Because uh Some people can go too far. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I know. It looks really nice. But V is annoyed because that's what anyway, yeah, in box. Yeah, Turo and, and Cross and... Well... The cross one, I'm not too crossed about. <laughs> <laughs> because cross is just edgy, but the Turo one, yeah, he's got he's got beef with you and thinks that you have. Um, what do you mean he has beef with me? If he says he thinks you have Stockholm syndrome. It's on site with Ethan Turo, on on God. On God, for real, for real. For real, for real, it is on site with Turo. You know he's just going to double down. Mm. He's just going to double down and make it worse. Sounds like a personal problem he has. Yeah. It's, that's what he's been doing. Like, he's been like just going up to people and saying, I'm double downing on everything. Why? I don't know. I don't know why he's doing it. Why was Idol's message deleted? They bought. What the hell? Too many. Too many you know what it really is? Is is mm -hmm. people are they're mad? They hate us because they ain't us, V. Like, do people honestly have an issue with the fact that we got married? Yes. Who? Like, straight up, and why? I don't know. It's like okay, look. It's like when Winston lost his arm, and people would just go up to him and be like. I'm going to take your other arm or when I lost my eye and people were like, I'll poke your other eye out. It's just a little detail that people you know, latch on to, to find material for their jokes. Yeah. Well, I don't appreciate it. So that guy that we bully got married. He got something cool. Let's pick on him for it and pick on her as a side effect. Side effect? Is that the word I'm looking for? Is that the word I'm looking for? Maybe. Collateral. 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 You're collateral, V. Nice twat. Yeah, well, someone's gonna end up with my foot up their ass if they don't keep their mouth fucking shut. Oh, you're harsh in my mouth! He's not even around right now. And if he is, he's on the ground. Yeah, well, other people are around, so. I need some more monies. You know who else is on the ground? Mm hmm. Me. What does that even mean? Crash this bike into wall again. Any stores open? I'm hungry. I have no idea. Why is there... Oh, there's an ATM over here. Thank God. 
I'm gonna get like. I bled all over a scene last night and didn't realize it until Dan said something. You gotta take care of yourself and look out for any bleeding wounds that are open. Well, it was just at the triage spot, so it wasn't the worst thing in the world. But Dan just goes, ma'am, I think you're bleeding. And I went, huh? I, I was shot by Marabunta locals, and even though I went and saw Dr. Kate, um, I know Kiki so was all like, I hate how people say that Dr. Kate is bad at dramas. her job, but I'm sorry, Mia. when she can't stitch me up and stop me from bleeding, she is bad at her job. She is bad at her job, this is true. Like, I guess Kiki and Jeffy have been talking about her or something, Kiki said to me, you know, it, you know, it, it's annoying to hear people say that, and I'm like, but thing is, it's Dr. Kate. Like, she's not going to be perfect all the time, and people have their right to their opinion. Is Jeffy still a doctor? Uh, yeah, why? How does... What? How are people still willingly being doctors? Sounds like it's hell to deal with. People are always quitting. Well, I want you to know, I said at the meeting, uh, four more years of Riv. Riv's not... Why? Riv straight also, up told Timbo that I need to ask you running. context of something. What is the, what is the context of ditch doctors? Uh, triple. Why? I don't get it. Can you explain it to me? Who's who's going around saying ditch doctors? Serge. Of course he is. Uh, it's what uh, triple calls us. Uh, the the doctor triple. Not not uh not triple senior who is a great officer within the SDSO. No, not an officer. Okay. Um, what does it mean? It's an insult. But what, what, what is it supposed to be? What? It's an insult towards EMS. I don't, but what is the insult? Basically saying you're not a real medical professional. You're a ditch doctor. You're back alley medical. Oh, okay. Like that he's basically saying you're not you're not a real medical professional. At least that's my interpretation. I see. And doctors and EMS must be beefing for all these years. We don't We don't beef with the doctors. It's all the, the beef is all the doctors. EMS couldn't care any less. I'm sure I'll get sorted out eventually. There will come a time where EMS and doctors will be joint at the joint at the hip. No. Don't you put that on me. That's like when I was manifesting under Sheriff Hayes and she kept saying no. Don't manifest it. I hope you know when I see Taro, I'm going to lose it on him. He's going to double down. You know that, right? Yeah, he'll double down with my fist in his face. And you're what a jail. I will gladly take that charge. You just got expunged. I know I go... did. But like, you are, talk arguably, shit. you got expunged for a really, you or you got a you got a the assault and battery charge for a really dumb reason. But you're gonna give yourself a valid reason to get one. Talk shit, get hit. I mean, it's either that or I sue him, and I don't know which one's preferable to him. I, well, uh, 
know what kind of cop he is. He hates court. Oh, easy win. What would you sue him for? I'll find something. I mean, he's talking shit. I'm sure you'll figure it out. <clears throat> I don't appreciate someone saying I have Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, I need your help. I need your help. With what? I'm going to double down on this Hayes thing. Oh, God. I need you to I need you to find me an outfit that says that's that's the Hayes trip. I can barely dress myself. I need your help. Where are you? Riding around on a bicycle. Okay, where do you want to meet up? Which clothing store? I don't know. What one are you closest to? The one by MRPD. I'm also on a bicycle. That's why I'm asking where. I'll head to you. Coming from from Jumash. On a bicycle? Yeah, but I will. It'll literally just take me like three minutes to get to you. There's no. For Pro Three. Yeah, there's no loss. So uh, I'm on a Pro fast Three too. Go. Okay, well, which one do you want? I'll go to the Hawick one. That's a neutral ground. I literally will just come to you. I'm well. I'm going to the Hawick one. That's neutral ground. But yeah, I got this hairspray, and it was like really good i was like you know what yeah it's like ten thousand i'm doubling dollars, done isn't it? i don't i you think i paid attention to how much the price was when i clicked accept yes i didn't i mean i do i have a panic attack anytime i spend more than like five thousand dollars oh shit i have to repay myself i just remembered because i i paid for a plus one thing the other day Yeah, it was like really good. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna double down, and now I'm just gonna have the the, the haze drip. I'm gonna drip the f everything. Also, I don't really see haze off duty all that much, so I'm not gonna be much help. Uh, she dresses like she's homeless. Going for pit. Pit miss. Put it in perspective, she went to the, uh, the, uh, VCSO, um, trivia night, um, and I gave her a box, and she's holding it, and Tarani mistook her as homeless and didn't have any, uh, I had to carry everything on her. Oh, dear. Basil went to bed or was in a session or something. Has he stopped responding to me? See anything? Hmm? Is there anything out there that you as homeless? No, can you speak up a little bit, Harvey? Does anything stick out to you as homeless person? Not really. to come from uh i need to make something oh Kiki, help me what why he's trying to look homeless i put on this i put on this why uh, is he trying to look homeless i put on this hairspray 
and I was like, oh, this, this kind of slaps. And then I, re I realized after I finalized it and permanently, you know, dyed it, that it's 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 the Mackenzie hair hair. Kenzie Hayes color, so I'm like, all right, if she's a drip thief, I'm doubling down. I'm gonna steal all of her drip. So I need to dress like a homeless person. Are you saying Hayes dresses like a homeless person? That's exactly what he's saying. I Does she say know that. that he says this? Wait, is Ethan Turo around so I can yell at him? Because apparently Turo's been saying I have Stockholm syndrome. Snitching, I'm snitching. <laughs> but yeah, apparently Tara has been going around saying I have Stockholm syndrome. So that's nice. What? Why? Because I'm married to Harvey. Ah, oh, I see. And so Tross said some more stuff, apparently, so... Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yep. This is it. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, this is... That doesn't look like something she'd wear, but okay. I'm already holding out here saying Mackenzie Hayes dresses like a homeless person. Yep. She probably won't even see it. Did we figure out why the results aren't coming out until tomorrow? No, but it is confirmed they're not coming out until tomorrow. Damn. Bunny like my... was really upset because she won't be able to be awake for it. Yeah, my first thought was the worrying thought of maybe it means someone who wasn't around one. But no, I think it's just Crane's not around today. You'd think he would be because he knew that was that this was happening. I'm maybe, old. He, maybe he had something come up. I need new pajamas. New pajamas? New pajamas. I've had the same pajamas since I moved to the city. Well, I had to replace my old ones because they were covered in Jeffy and Wyland's blood, and then I just, I need new pajamas now. Fair. From the new pajamas. Plus, there's so much new stuff I can make pajamas with. Oh, so true. So take it you're just around to, for a little bit, and then go back to bed? Um, I'm kind of just popping in and out of the house. I got You're bored, today, aren't you? So a little. <laughs> I played That's Fortnite with Bryce and Juno. And then after that, when Juno went to bed, it was like, well, now what? Yeah, I've been... I've been having tea over text with Basil. Why not in person? I don't know. But then I I don't know if Basil just got busy or if he went to bed as he stopped responding. Oh. So. And Charlotte, I know put in the email that the city's on fire, but like at any point within the next hour, hour and a half, I'd have to be 10-7 for an extended period of time. So I'm like, that wouldn't be fair to them because I don't know when. And it would be like a, I need to drop what I'm doing right now kind of 10-7. Mm. So. I would wear this dress if not for the shoulders. The shoulders ruin it. Sh uh, yeah. Harvey, what are you doing? I Aren't think your okay? husband is broken. Dancing. <laughs> That's a dance. <laughs> that was something. What? It, it looks like you're...
Yeah, I went gold panning for a little bit. I was at the mm -hmm. fire tower for a while, just kind of vibing. But I just genuinely don't know what I'm going to do today. He dances better than I do. I mean, that's always the vibe. I'm just still mad that there's no undershirt that- or no shirt that can go under the freaking mesh top. For you, at least. Yeah, for me. They exist, it's just not for me. Charlie's wedding is also tonight. Mm -hmm. I guess Luna didn't know until yesterday that it was today. Really? Yeah, so I think she's staying home today. Uh, Luna does not have a sense of time or days. Yeah, but if she wasn't told about it, she's still gonna... She called me on, on Wednesday and was like, I'm around for court, and I said, that's tomorrow. She's like, huh? That's not it wasn't entirely fault. her fault, though. Because Murphy did say Thursday the 7th. Uh, that was Holden. What? Uh, it was Judge Holden. Oh, First name Judge, Judge Holden. Oh. Murphy's, a, Murphy's a, not a lawyer. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, no, uh... When I looked at it, it said June 8th, though. Well, the announcement initially said Thursday, June 7th, even though it is Thursday, June 8th, or was. Um, and so she got thrown off on, is it Thursday or is it June 7th? I see. Also, speaking of Judge Holden, I see why people compare us, because that guy is very dry, just like me. <laughs> there was a judge that I called him to ask a simple question and he started screaming at me about being in trial and I tried to explain, well, you're not marked as being in trial and he continued screaming at me and I couldn't explain, like... Was it Svensson? No, his name was Jerome? Oh. Uh, I had never Jack... heard of him before. Yeah, they, they, they got a bunch of judges to just... They transferred over from different jurisdictions, and one of them is, is I mean, Svensson's older brother. I mean, that's that's fine, but like, if you're gonna be in trial, mark yourself as in trial, and don't get upsetty spaghetti when people call you because your mark is available. Like, I just needed yeah. a judge to change a license plate on an Explorer that didn't take the first time. Yeah, I think. uh I think they, you know, the new judges might not be acquainted with our system yet. Does anyone have James Randall's number? I do. Uh, actually, I think I do too. Can you text me it. I'm pretty sure I tried calling him once and he wasn't around. I need to uh, schedule AA with him. Oh, yeah, you do have to go to AA with him. V, should I just say fuck it and go with, like, lace panties? Yes. Okay. Because they're cute. They are very cute. But I have to get home with this. Just go to your oh. storefront. Or a storefront. Oh, oh, I can go to the one across the street. That's right. That's why, like, what... Usually, I'll, if I'm getting new pajamas, like, you know, I'll buy them at the store, but I won't put them on until I'm at the firehouse. You know? But which one should I go with? 
Oh, these are cute. Should I go with these ones or the other ones? Mm. See, I'm not someone who likes polka dots much, so. <clears throat> I meant the style. Oh, the style? For mm -hmm. for pajamas, definitely this style. Okay, because there's the other ones that are more lace, but this is more this is cuter, I think. Yeah, and it's more pajama, and you can kind of get away with mm -hmm. wearing them outside. <laughs> you know what, not that you I'm know what they going said to me, V? Hmm? Huh? You know what they said to me in, in after what? the deliberations and we were talking to the other judges? What? I, they thought it was obvious that I was an alcoholic. What? What? They said we already all knew this. We knew this. I didn't even know you were an alcoholic. <laughs> well, Serge and Adams knew. Imagine being an alcoholic. Couldn't be me. Yeah? Couldn't be you? Yeah, Serge was wondering why I even bothered, uh, Testifying that uh, I was an alcoholic because we it was it's uh, it's obvious Like we already knew this I wouldn't say that's obvious All you've succeeded in doing was getting yourself sentenced to AA with James Randall. Yeah, I did do that. Yeah, I saw that Ash got pride decorations at the Chumash house. They're cute, but god damn it, the one sign is where I put my mailbox when I remember. Oop. She put it on my half of the property! Without my consent. You're thinking you're selling it anyway. I am thinking of selling it, but still, it's my property. Mm -hmm. She put it on my half. Uh... Harvey? <laughs> Harvey? <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. Ow. Oh no. Help. Ow. Hey. B, this was the time I shoes when you when, when I'm getting dressed. That's Why not my she... responsibility. You're a grown I don't man. know how to tie my shoes. I think this will do. I don't tie your shoes, Harvey. You're a grown oh. man. I don't know how to tie my own shoes. Since when? Since all the time. Let's just wing it. Slide your... Oh, there's a queue. Uh-oh. Oh, oh you're just gonna have to self-transport me. In what car? No, I say it like You're that because I'm like... You're gonna have to carry me. I might have to put out a ping. Because I can't go clock on because the aforementioned I am going to be needing to drop what I'm doing very quickly. Yeah, otherwise I'd self-transport. Uh, cause we're two of two in queue. Oof. Okay. I mean, I have my moped. We're gonna have to take the moped, Kiki. <laughs> I, can, I can- I can take you on the moped. If all you did was trip, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I, uh... <sighs> I'll let them know we'll- we'll transport to hospital. Oh, no. Well, transport hospital then. No worries.
Oh, this is gonna get really funny because I only have my bike. Unless, I know what I'll do. I'll be a few minutes behind you guys. Are you gonna grab his bike and board? No. I'm gonna go get my car. Oh, right, right. This is gonna be so convoluted. Actually, no. Let me just go get my car. I'm gonna worry about my bike. Park this over there. As long as I have a vehicle left over by the store, I'm fine. I just usually prefer it to be a bicycle. Oh, he was just on the phone with Leo. Oh, no. Well, Leo spotted us on the way here. And he got on. Uh... Loco! I didn't see where he went. Oh, no. What? If he's on the phone with Leo. Well, Leo is in the middle of Legion Square. Hello? Where are you? Running. I'm so Where are you sorry. running to? Uh, I don't know. I was just running on the phone. I was doing that thing that people do. Where are you? Uh, where? Where? Legion Square. Legion Square? Yeah. You didn't go find Leo, did you? 
No, he said he's gonna bomb me though. Cause Kiki said he was in Legion. Yeah, no, he got a moped and went somewhere else. Uh, he called me up and he said he was gonna bomb me. What does that mean? He's gonna bomb me. What does that mean? He's got a bomb. He's got a bomb? Yeah, he's got a bomb. Oh dear. Oh, you found him. I found him. He said he had a moped and I thought he stole your moped. I heard my moped, or I heard a moped, and I thought he stole my moped too. I was about to be very oh, sad. God. What are your plans, Kiki? Um, I don't know. I'm also wondering if I should put a ping out because they were two of two. And there's only, oh, fuck. There's three, but Charlotte's FTOing. Oh, I just, uh, I just left because it put me on there for the two seconds I was there to, oh! My God! What the fuck? I shouldn't laugh at that. Did did Leonoa go in for seconds on you? Yes, Lee. What the fuck? Okay. Ah, I'm okay. Sorry. Yeah, the guy who hit you shot like five cops. Oh my god. Can we add this oh, as a charge? Now me. Hey, um, EMS are really busy right now. Alright, oh, that's I'm, I'm, I'm okay. putting out a ping I, then. Hey, do you I wanna... Do you wanna iPack or do you have first aid kits? I know you wanna start. Uh, I, I, I don't have anything on me. Yeah, take this. EMS. Thank you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I feel better. I'm just okay. shocked the moment didn't blow up. Yeah, I'm very glad. Alright. Thank you, Avery. Medics. Yeah. I hope so. I'm just gonna put out a, a ping of, hey, if you're available to come help your on duty EMS, please do. Oh god, let me just. Oh no! Oh no, it doesn't work. Damn, god. if only anyone had a repair kit, it'd be crazy if one had one. Do you have a repair kit? I don't. I only have a tire repair kit. I'm not gonna make it a full ping yet. Yeah, unless, I got one. unless Logan and Charlotte request it, but I am gonna reiterate, please do. Where's the engine on this thing? Is it the back. Oh, I didn't even have time to react by the time Nova hit me the second time. Uh, here's the thing, from where I was <laughs> sitting, there was no reason for Nova to swerve and hit you. No, there wasn't. So why the hell did Nova hit you? I really hope. I don't know. I really hope they add on an attempted murder of a government employee <laughs> for that. Wow. Or hit and run, even better. It doesn't matter if they're being chased; they still hit you and ran. I don't even know who hit me the first time. I was looking at something on my phone. I'm pretty sure it was the person they were chasing. Well, yeah, but I don't even know who it was. Oh, uh, some blue car. I've seen it around. I just don't know whose car it is. Oh. All right, you're gonna go, Kiki. Thank you. Oh, right. bye, this. Yeah, we'll see you later. I don't know if I have to escalate mm -hmm. to a full ping yet, but um, okay. I'll leave that up for Charlotte to let me or you know. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, go to bed. She got absolutely obliterated. Chief V? Maybe. Yeah, we'll know in a month and a half. Is Randy dead yet? No. As far as activity goes. He came on duty for a few hours to do office hours. 
And that's it? Yeah. I should not count towards his monthly hours. Um, I don't think he really intends to come around and do, like, patrol. Oh god, we don't need any more of that. Like, that's where my concern lies, is I think all of Command should be doing the minimum hours and doing it as patrol, not just, you know. That's super suspicious, what I just saw. What? It's a box truck being escorted by two Enuses. Huh. What do you think they're doing? Probably something suspicious. Uh, I have a question. What? Why is Nadia's yellow page add unofficial disowned EMS? <clears throat> she was fired. Oh. For an activity? Uh, I don't want to get into it. Alright. I saw that and I was like, that's a really odd name. Yeah, the other name was Critical Care Paperwork Bitch, which was immediately followed up after that. Yeah, I saw that the other day. But, uh... Is that why I'm seeing River on more? Is he just fi coming around to fire people? Uh, no. He just comes he... around in bursts. Uh, I was wondering if he was back. Uh, he's still on LOA. He's still what? Oh, LOA, yeah. Mm. No, it's usually, if it's if it's not Archer, it's Randy that's handling the firings. I thought Riv was the, the firing guy. He said he was like the final say. He He's like the final say over if somebody gets fired, usually. Oh, and he delegates but... it. Like, it's not that he delegates it. I mean, he's fired people before. He fired Jackson Rhodes. <laughs> On a Tuesday. Not a Tuesday. Um, but he fired Jackson. Um, it's just like, um, some I remember people... that day very vividly when he fired him. Yeah, no cops deputy... except Rudy showed up. Well, Libby is the queen, okay? She got declared queen. Okay, and that doesn't negate the fact that a couple officers could have broken off to go check on the medic who just alphaed. You know I was the only person who broke off for Kiki shooting uh, Wylan? Like, that's what my Those biggest... meetings, people refu will not leave the meeting room. That's my biggest gripe with PD, is when something serious happens, they refuse to break off from their fucking meetings. It's like, oh, too bad. You should have gotten shot when we weren't having a meeting. Like, I don't... I don't disagree with the fact that, you know... Um... Libby and, and Tessa getting their their promotions to, to Chief and Game Warden wasn't a big deal. I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, it wasn't a big deal. What I am saying is it wouldn't have killed some of the officers to break off and actually go investigate a fucking 14 alpha and then for the shift 3 meeting to be like oh well we're still in our meeting when there's absolutely fuck all happening at the shift 3 meeting except you know trying to delay going on patrol like I love the shift 3 meeting don't get me wrong but like at least somebody should break off to go to like a serious call like hey I just shot somebody in self defense and they might be dead um, I think in their defense, I don't think they saw the 301s or 911s because I had mentioned a doctor was shot and, he, and Bass went, What? As if he didn't read the 301 or 911. That's, that's a big issue with PD in general, is none of y'all, except for like you and a few, read the 911s and 311s. We need, I think, we need to move, uh, thing is, it's already, I say this, but it's already like that. We need to make 911s pop up 
in the in the uh, dispatch. They do. We need to make the anonymous under ones pop up in the dispatch. They do, but they don't stick there. Uh, not the anonymous ones. They don't even pop up there. Is it? I thought they did. No, no, no. Just the regular ones. I might actually reach out to someone about that and be like, hey, this is, the, this is uh, a thing. It's it's on our list of things that we gave to the, the government for things that we'd like. This is already on the list. Yeah, it's, it's on the list. But you said it. You, you thought you said you, th you thought it was a thing already. Um, I thought it was, but then I remembered we put it on the list. Yeah. I mean, one of the things we wish could happen, but we know probably won't, is that the anonymous, uh, the ping would just stay stationary. But we know that's not going to happen. Because it makes it hard for us when we get an anonymous 911 and suddenly it's like... Do you hear a dog? <clears throat> you know, uh, <laughs> Aurora is in the back seat. Oh. Yeah. I legitimately thought I heard a dog like around these this racetrack. No, no, Aurora is in the back seat. Okay. She she um, sounds she has such a strong bark today. Oh, okay, now I now I hear her. Yeah, I was yeah. I could hear it outside the car for some reason. Um. Yeah, no. Uh. If you have it, where uh. Where it's like a like a regular 911 call, then it will have the same spot if you like uh, GPS it. It'll be yeah. the same spot where it originally was. Because that's the biggest struggle for us is like um, the local calling it in, driving away, um, makes it hard for us to find the person they saw. I think anonymous ones popping up there would probably be a good thing. They need to make you go, uh, pip pip, much like a, and it needs to, instead of saying down one, you just say S plus <laughs> plus. You think that'll help? Well, that's me making jokes. I, but I, I do think that just having it be a card. And fixing 911 cards in general, because I swear I've seen James Randall calls it. I'm like, oh, James Randall's calling 911. And I look for it in the thing, and I can't find it. Uh, it's because he himself didn't. Well, so I know why that happens. It's just very hard to explain in city terms. But it, okay, I see it. The 911, James Randall, medicine. It doesn't say anonymous. It's James Randall, medicine. Yeah, I know why that happens, though. Um,. If you're reaching for your phone when you're flat on your face, that's usually when that happens. Oh, won't show up in the dispatch card? Nope. I wonder why that is. Because you're reaching for your phone when you're flat on your face. But I still get the call. I just don't have the receipt of the call. Like, that's the only times I've seen it happen is if someone called 911 for themselves because they are they are injured, it doesn't come through. It it treats it like an anonymous 911 for some reason. I don't know how our local dispatchers know that, but, you know, that's what I've noticed in my year and a half as EMS. I see, I see. I don't know where I'm driving to. I'm just driving. I could tell when we were driving through the Redwood Lights track. What? I like driving through there. Do you have a problem with the Redwood Lights track? No, I don't. I just could tell that we have no, no direction. I feel bad about not clocking on, but... 
Oh, I don't feel bad. I clocked on and went, it went, I heard beep, beep, well, beep, 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 We have an SOP about it now, but no, like, there hasn't been an official ping yet, so it's like, hey, things are on fire, we'd appreciate the help, but, like, I, I let Charlotte know, like, I'm gonna have to, like, dip at a moment's notice, and I think that moment might be, like, now-ish. So is it like if you're off duty, you have to come on duty if there's if there's no EMS around? Uh, it's not if there's no EMS around. It's like if you're on duty, medics are like saying it's on fire, we need help, and you're around. You need to go help until things calm down. What if you're able to be around and you're around, but you're staring at your ceiling in your apartment? Uh probably wouldn't penalize you for that. But like, if a ping went out right now, because, like, Charlotte technically did ask for help, but just didn't become ping-worthy, because she said, like, um, I would just I'm talking be about, appreciated. like, bowling with your, bowling with your cousin at the oh, bowl Oh, yeah, no. No, no, no. Um, we explicitly haven't incorporated that at this point. Because the issue isn't people who are, you know, out bowling with their cousins. It's that we have people around who are capable of going on duty, but who won't. We straight up oh, had fuck. someone say to Kiki, oh, that's too bad, and then drive away. Why oh, that reminds me of when, uh, when that huge 13 Alpha happened, and, uh... Uh, I can't remember which EMS it was, was outside the pillbox while uh, Talia was stripping me off the ground up in the mountain. And the other EMS was staying out front of, outside a pillbox, not clocked on, uh, just chilling. Is it stuff like that? Yeah, kinda. Because, you know, don't leave your other medics to to drown. Which is why I feel bad about not going to help Charlotte and Logan, but I... When Aurora started barking, I realized, uh-oh, I think I need to go, uh, take care of something. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of getting some furniture. That'd be pretty cool. Guys, we can do that now. Uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'll probably rest. Alright. I don't think I have a choice. You drove I mean, me up here and I can't, I, I'm not gonna do make there, it back home. There's a car? You can literally take my car. It's gonna get stolen. I'm not making you do anything. We need to get you a bicycle up here. And me, for that matter. I... Uh, I kind of... My problem is I want to stick around just in case I can get my Alcoholics Anonymous going. But I'm super tired. Go... Okay, so what you do is you go lie down for 10 minutes. Right? Yeah. Get back on the train. And then just take a nap on the train. I will be waiting seven hours. No, you won't. Also, if I take a nap for ten minutes, you know I'm going to be waking up at three in the morning, right? Fair. I don't do naps. I don't do naps. No, but I mean, is he... You know, if you don't want to be around right now, but you want to be around in, like, say, two or three hours, just go lay down in the bedroom, hop back on the train, and then you'll be around in, like, two or three hours. Do you realize the train doesn't take that long these days, right? Uh, 
Does this go hard, or does this go hard? Yeah, it looks alright. Yeah, one or two? Uh, one. This one? But it is getting hot out, so maybe two. Alright, I I need to go take care of some stuff. If, if you need to go somewhere, take my car. I'm gonna take a nap for six hours. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be in the kitchen. Lame. I'm gonna... I'm gonna watch Wheel of Fortune. I'm actually gonna send you something when I'm done quote-unquote cooking. I'm gonna watch Wheel of Fortune. Alright, I'm gonna cut my stream here because I don't know how long I'm gonna be. Um... Who am I gonna send you guys to? Who to send you guys to? You know what? We're gonna send you guys to Sunday. Because Charlie's wedding is tonight. I might be back in a bit. But we're gonna send you to Sunbay. Her chat is sub only, but or follower or subscriber only chat. So you probably have to follow, but that's not a bad thing. Sunbay is awesome. Um, go send her some love. Charlie's wedding is tonight, and hopefully things don't go disastrously. 